Welcome. In this session on natural deduction, we'll continue to explore semantic equivalence. There's a set of semantic equivalences that are important in computer science, logic, and many other applications. And these are known as the De Morgan laws. And De Morgan was a philosopher and mathematician. And depending on exactly how they're written, there are one or two or many of these. What we'll do is we'll explore these using semantic equivalence. And we'll, these will be true for general formulas. We'll look at them for specific um, symbols. So suppose that we have two symbols, P and Q, and what we want to do is we'll first write out our truth table, which we do in our now familiar and almost mechanical method. And what we'd like to do is let's explore this idea. Suppose we say it's not true that both P and Q are true at the same time. If we reason this out using just ordinary reasoning, we'll say, well, if it's not true that P and Q are simultaneously true, then at least one of them has to be false. And what we can do is we can, so we, we have this idea, right? Let's write down the truth table for this formula first, and then we'll go through that bit of reasoning. So the truth table for this is P and Q are true here, and that means their negation is false. P and Q are false here, so the negation is true. P and Q are false, so the negation is true. P and Q are false, so the negation is true. Now let's take that little bit of reasoning that we had and say, let's write down the truth table for it. So when we said, if it's not true that P and Q are simultaneously true, then one of them has to be false. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll postulate that a formula of interest is the negation of P disjoined with the negation of Q. And let's see where that gets us. So in this case, P is true, so not P is false. Q is true, so not Q is false. So false or false, that evaluates to false. Here, we can use some quick reasoning. We can say, oh, Q is false, so that means the negation of Q is true. So that means that this disjunction is true. Here, we see that P is false, so the negation of P is true, so the disjunction is true. And here, we see they're both false, so their dis the disjunction of their negations has to be true. And what we have here is a semantic equivalence. And what we'll show in subsequent sessions is that when we have a semantic equivalence, we could take this as the premise and deduce this as a conclusion using the rules of natural deduction, we could also take this as a premise and we could deduce this as the conclusion. As I alluded to, there are multiple De Morgan's laws. A different form of it is essentially to negate each of these. Let's try that in a slightly different way. Let's write down our truth table. And once we've written down our truth table, let's explore these. Suppose we take this conjunction and turn it into a disjunction. That is, the formula we're interested in is not P or Q. So P or Q is true, so its negation is false. P or Q is true, so its negation is false. P or Q is true, so its negation is false. 
P or Q is false, so its negation is true. Let's use some ordinary reasoning on this formula. If we're saying it's not true that either of these is, uh, if we're saying that it's not true that either is true, then what we're saying is they're both false. That is, what we want to assert is not P and not Q. So let's take a look at what that would be. So P is false. So P is true. So not P is false. So the conjunction must be false. Here, we use the same reasoning. P is false, so not P is false, so the conjunction must be false. Here, Q is true, so not Q is false, so the conjunction must be false. And here, P is false, so its conjunction is true, so its negation is true. Here, Q is false, so its negation is true. The conjunction of trues is true. And what we have is a different semantic equivalence. What we have here is that if we take this formula as a premise, we can conclude this formula. And likewise, we could take this formula as a premise and we could conclude this formula. So this idea of semantic equivalence has an interprovability that we want to explore in a subsequent session. It also is used in some logics, not in natural deduction, but in some logics, they will permit you, when you have a semantic equivalence between two formulas, to syntactically replace the occurrence of one formula with another formula. We don't do that in natural deduction, but we may do it in our meta logic if it helps us.